This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Whitney Clark. A man has life-threatening injuries after a pedestrian crash last night on the south side. Tucson police say it happened on Country Club near I-10. Country Club was closed for a time while police investigated, but the roadway has since reopened. The man was taken to the hospital, but his condition is not known. Hurricane Florence has made landfall this morning on the east coast as high winds and heavy rains already pound the Carolinas. Look at these images on your screen here. Right now, there are more than 280,000 power outages with millions expected by the time the storm rolls through completely. Even Arizona has crews in North Carolina, including rural Metro and Phoenix Fire. The Red Cross in Southern Arizona has already sent three volunteers from its chapter and they're sending another volunteer to the east coast. One man has another flight leaving at 6 and will be assigned to assist with sheltering and moving resources in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Let's check in with April for a look outside. Good morning, April. Good morning. Quite the opposite here in southern Arizona. We are still seeing very, very strong high temps in the afternoon. Now, it's nice right now. We've got 73 degrees, clear skies, and you can see by the dew point and humidity values, which continue to go down in the 30s and 40s, that it is very dry, so we're not expecting any sort of rain chance anytime soon. Heat will be the bigger weather story. In fact, we have a moderate to high heat risk in some areas over the next several days, at least today and tomorrow. Tucson, a forecast high of 104, possibly even 105, up to 10 degrees above average. We'll still see about 102 to 103 on Saturday. Could be early or maybe even the middle of next week before we start seeing a little bit of that cooling and possibly even a chance for rain by Wednesday. Whitney? Thanks, April, for more news and weather updates throughout the day. You can always go to our website, kkon9.com, or our Facebook page.